Welcome! In this video we will look at a piece called The Storm by Friedrich Burgmüller. Let me play the beginning for you. Okay, so these are the first eight measures. Let's play again a little bit uh, slower and first look at the fingering. This is very good. One, two, and one, two, one, three, two, three. And I would make play the left hand louder because this is it's more interesting. This is the melody. And then here in measure two we have this octave and then pedal change and then suddenly again pianissimo. Okay, one more time. And here make sure to rotate your underarm but also a little bit activity especially for the fifth finger and then we have this this is measure five I would change every uh, beat for the left uh, when uh, left hand is changing octave also change pedal okay so pedal 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 show here this wave so crescendo to the B flat and then again crescendo and then diminuendo okay okay so that we have this melody tone and then back crescendo assai so start very soft okay very softly here and then I use here 5, 3, 1 because then I can change very easily to 2, 1, okay? This is measure 8 and then we are back to this uh, in this main theme from the beginning okay, so now let's play again from measure number 9 up to here. What do we have here? Here we have again crescendo showing this wave and now in second second time this is I play 5 to 1 and then 3 1 and now back again this we have uh, uh, from here on we are in F major and very important is here to not make an accent on the uh, first note of this group, okay? So, not like this, but rather think of crescendo to the next uh, beat, and also in the left hand, okay? So, no, no accent on the first F. G minor and here pedal showing this G crescendo to the G and then the resolution a little bit diminuendo and then octave okay so this is con fuoco with fire Here we have only solo in octaves, okay? So we have to practice this like this. Very, uh, very softly. And then we can increase also the dynamic. Okay, and then also 
uh, rhythmic exercises. <laughs> and also with every four okay so one more time from measure number uh, 14 okay one more time this diminished chord and without pedal I would show this uh, little rest eight rest diminuendo then starting fortissimo and with every time a little uh, quieter okay so first time fortissimo forte and mezzo piano and then and then we are back again in F major okay so one more time and here also pedal every measure pedal to here pedal 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 and then we are here okay and here after the repetition second time we are back in our uh, theme from the beginning okay so okay and here this is very surprising moment let's play again from from here Crescendo, diminuendo. And then we are suddenly in D major, not minor anymore. Okay? So this is very important to show this. Measure 21. Hold this two notes. And very important is here to make suddenly ritten ritenuto, okay? We are here in new, new tempo, okay, ritenuto, and this D major is as if sun would come out again, okay, so after the storm, and show this upper voice, this F sharp, okay. Okay, one more time from measure when it changes to D major. this expressive line here for the and suddenly going away with this piano crescendo and then piano and rest this last four measures left hand piano and staccato no pedal at all just make sure to connect this and then later on with going to dominant okay one more time Okay, so this was my tutorial slash lesson on a piece called The Storm by Friedrich Buchmüller. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.